Hey guys, we're in my 2007 Toyota Prius today. Uh, all keys lost situation. Um, we're gonna go ahead and um, add the key back in, get the key origination, and program the key in. But not just the immobilizer part, but we also have to reset uh, the ECU for the uh, smart access. So that takes a little extra time, uh, but we'll walk you through it. Also, uh, John Eric wants to talk about a simple way to have the car charging itself during that 16 minute reset because a lot of the times when we're doing these 16 minute resets we have to have a jumper out just because we don't want to kill the battery and so forth but we're going to go ahead and discuss how to have the car charge itself during the process all right all right guys we're going to be jumping in a 2007 prius see you inside hey guys we're on a 2007 uh prius um it's smart access, so we're going to be going through the whole procedure right now. So anybody had questions about if uh, the Auto Pro Pad can do that, we're going to go ahead and show you now. Here's John Eric, he's about to take over. Alright, so we're going to do the reset. The first thing we need to do is reset the transponder inside, so it's actually start the car in the slot. So we're going to go to Smart Key, Proc 6, 04 to 09. We're gonna do a quick reset transponder. In this case, turn ignition on. Key in the slot? Yes, key in the slot, turn ignition on. I see the security light is solid, so it took to reset so it's in learning mode mm -hmm. so this is a long procedures as far as for two masters one valet or two two keys in this case so all you're gonna do is insert take out the key insert it remember it's one so we're gonna close the learning system which is kind of like you do on regular keys turn on and off five times so in this case you gotta press the button twice to turn on and one to turn off so we're gonna do it five times so you can say so three times five is 15 so I gotta do it 15 times All right, so here we go one two turn on off one two second time one two three turn off one two Four, turn off. Now one, two, five, turn off. I have the second key if you need one. Yeah, I need the second one. All right, here it is. And it's off. And it's off. So, so one key's out. So now, what I'd like to do is a quick trick that I learned from I'm going to locksmith in this case since we have one key is just push the key all the way in just enough so the car turns on. Leave the car running and we're going to go to a 60 minute reset. Reason why is since this Prius is a new style the battery is pre uh, might be bad or good so since the slot, the transponder is working, we're going to do the reset right now. So the battery's charging. We're doing that. So we're going to do the 60 minute reset right now. So even if it is showing that there's no key, the car is running. So it's going to take about 16 minutes.
so just like the uh, H, you would have to wait a 16 minute for the uh, for the remote feature, correct? Yes. Would be there all your smart access. Yes, kind of like for the smart key, it Got is it. an H 128. So yes, it is doing a 16 minute reset. However, on the regular transponder key, is already found to do the bypass since it's ignition. Mm. So since all smart access or smart key in this case is different they still require a 60 minute reset that's why it's different compared to an ignition key so just to recap you'll make sure when you put the key not all the way in but just enough into the slot to recognize the transponder inside the front to turn on the car or in this case start the car so if you have a battery jumper it is good but we don't know how good the battery level is so since the car is running and during the reset smart it is not going to affect anything so this is a small trick for some of you guys that are wondering oh it's 16 minutes going to give you issues because of the battery you actually can run the car and you'll see in this video that you can actually add the key just one in this case some cases you might need two because to close off the learning mode of the key the car will start but the mobilizer light will still be flashing so make sure you have two and three on hand sometimes and that's only on the 04 to 09 Prius correct yes okay Guys, we started making these videos just because we've been getting a few calls uh, throughout the week for this vehicle or for this model vehicle, 04 to 09, and it seems like it's been a, a bit uh, frustrating for some of the users, so we thought to make a video just to kind of help you guys out, okay? So since we're waiting for the 14 minutes, a lot of customers probably would not know, but a few would, is... What is a smart access and non-smart access? Well, as you can see here in the back of this key, you see a Chrome logo. That would mean usually it's a smart access vehicle. But please be aware where you buy your keys from a trusted source. You'll have no problems. Others might be swapped out with a shell. That's a non-smart non access. And usually this logo right here, instead of silver or chrome, will be black all around. And on the car itself, if you want to know if it is, there's two distinctions in this case. One is on the driver's door handle and passenger door handle, there'll be a rubber button on the handle. Mm. That usually means it is a smart access. Mm -hmm. And also in the bottom of the driver's door dashboard, as you'll see that there is a button that says key next to the tire pressure light. So in this case, that is a smart access that will disable the, the proximity feature so it just only work in the slot so pushing out means it is has the smart access pushing it in disables it to do only non-smart so that's the difference on that so still going through a reset as you guys see there's all right guys so uh, i got back on here and uh you know the, the counter was counting down like six more minutes and then program success jumped on so we're all set so actually out of the 16 minutes it really only took about 10 um which was great but uh kind of caught me off guard so i wasn't able to finish the last part where this screen popped up so um we're going to keep going from here so that way we can finish out and that way you can see if the remote programmed or not here we go all right, so from there, once it's success, all we're going to do is go add proximity RKE. Ignition on with register transponder slot, open driver's door, switch ignition on, which ignition is on already during the reset. Switch ignition off and remove the key. Key's on. So it's already right. off, so we're going to turn it off. All right. Press OK. Press lock and lock for hold for two seconds, release, then press hold again, the lock. So... One, two, release, then lock. All right. Oh, there you go. So here are the two beeps, program success. So the main thing is pressing the buttons. Hold this for two seconds, release, then press hold one time and release. 
Then you'll hear a beep. It'll take about 5-10 seconds. Then program success. If you do not hear that, please make sure you have the right key or the battery as well. So now we're going to try starting the car up. So we're going to exit off the system. And we're going to press on the brake. Unplug. And then start the car up. And now, now the key is working. So here we go, guys. Have All right, guys. That's awesome stuff, guys. If you guys have any questions, you know our 188 number. Um, this is Alex and John Eric again with the KISS team. Have a great day.